You know, it was just under two years ago that Buckeye Vodka was born right here in Dayton, and now the distillery is winning all kinds of national awards and sending their spirits into more states. Jim and Rochelle from Buckeye Vodka visiting with us again this morning, and welcome to both of you. Jim, how are you? I'm great, Dan. And how are you, you? you come here this morning with some news that Buckeye Vodka is expanding. Buckeye Vodka isn't expanding. We are going into Kentucky. We're how about Kentucky. that? Yeah, we're using a local distributor, uh, Heidelberg, uh, as our distributor. So. Uh, we're really excited about that. And tell me about the latest award you just won. Uh, we won an award from uh, New York Spirits Competition, Ohio Distillery of the Year. That goes along with our uh, gold medal and Best Buy Award from uh, Chicago. So the, the good news for Buckeye Vodka just keeps on coming. Yeah. All right, Rochelle, uh, we're going to mix up a little. You've got a little end of the uh, end of the world drink coming up because the Mayan calendar says uh, tomorrow is it. We do. So we got to learn how to make this drink today. So I'm glad you're here. So um, <laughs> this is. So you what do you have? This is the one right this here. This is the Mayan mojito. Mayan it's, mojito. It's essentially the same thing as your standard mojito. Um, we use basil in lieu of it. Um, simple syrup, fresh squeezed lime juice, a lot of vodka, like almost three ounces. So is that right? You should that, know that, what's that, happening. That, That'll be good. <laughs> and vodka. some soda water, and then we just muddled the basil and the lime. Um, but we just thought it was kind of a good spin on on tomorrow night, yeah. and still the green brings the Christmas spirit. So. We were kind of you know what? Th this time of year, a lot of people think vodka. They think Bloody Marys. That's what we do at our house. But you've got a couple other cocktails over here we with do. Uh, some other ideas. Um, this is more for your Christmas Eve situation. So you, this we did, um, and you could really do kind of anything. We did eggnog. We did a light eggnog, you know, uh -huh. for the trim, svelte stomachs. And then um, we did some hazelnut liqueur for Angelico, some Godiva liqueur, and then about two ounces of vodka, and we garnished with some coffee beans, and cinnamon, what do you call and that marshmallows. One? That is the Buckeye. White Knight. A Buckeye White so that's Knight. That's what we're praying for, White Christmas. All right, and then you've got Within this one reason. that has some cranberries in it. Yes, this one we thought would be nice for New Year's. Um, it's somewhat of a spin of like a white Cosmo, but we did it. We're serving it up with a lot of edible glitter on the side to bring in the New Year. So that is the Berry Buckeye New Year. It's called the, the Berry Buckeye New yes. Year. Very yes. clever. So it's good. Do, do you, ever, you ever mix up one of these drinks that doesn't turn out so well? Of course. <laughs> We just throw it back, though. You don't really taste it. Trial and error. It it's, it's a wonderful thing about being a bartender. And if you want to find out more about Buckeye Vodka, you can find out all about it on our website, fox45now.com, and click on Fox 45 in the morning. Rochelle and Jim, thank you so much. And thank you, Dan. Congratulations on all the success. Appreciate it. All right. Happy thank New Year to you, too. Same to you.